Welcome to the FlowerSchool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I'm here to share with you a fabulous vase of fresh flowers. The inspiration, the gorgeous iris from Sun Valley Farms, available in a rainbow of colors year-round. What could be better to start a gorgeous vase design? As I was preparing, I felt like a kid in a candy store. Yes, gorgeous iris in yellow and purple and lavender and blue and white. But there's so much more from Sun Valley Farms and I couldn't decide. So I thought, well, how about you get all of it? And look what they sent me. It was such a treat to unpack the box. Asters, kale, lilies, tulips, lisianthus, matricaria. Oh my goodness. I just couldn't believe how fabulous it was. And yes, I'm going to use every bit of it in this vase design. When you purchase your Sun Valley Farms iris, there'll be tightly closed buds like this. Sometimes you can't even tell what color they're going to be. They're so tight. Thank goodness they'll tell you what color. Then, open them up, undo the band, and give them a cut. Put them into fresh water with flower food and let them hydrate. And you can see they start to open beautifully. And soon, they'll look like this because Sun Valley Farms guarantees their iris to open. And look how fabulous they are. With Mother's Day just around the corner, I decided to think big. What would I want to send to my mom? And I know when I gather things, I have to have one of these and one of those and one of these. And then, of course, I have so much, I have to find a big vessel. So that's where I started. Then, next step is to build a nest of foliage that will support all my flowers. And one thing that's fabulous is Sun Valley has foliage as well. We've got Salal. Just giving it a break so it's got a nice clean stem, setting it in, and with that fresh break it'll drink well. And you can see I'm just radiating around the vase, creating a ring of foliage, letting the stems cross through in the center, and that crossing is what will create a nest for all my flowers, giving it support. Now in addition to Salau, they've got Huckleberry, so grand different growth format, smaller leaves, setting it down in, looking for any broken leaves, don't want those in there, and setting it. And again, just crossing the stems through. And as long as you radiate evenly throughout, it will turn out beautifully. I know that sounds oversimplified, but it is that easy. Start on your outer edges, bring it from one side of the vase, over to the other, letting the stems cross, creating this tight nest. And then, when you're done, you'll be able to add your flowers and they'll stay just as you want them to be. If you've taken classes with me at the Floral Design Institute, you know at this stage I would check your work. And how do you check it? You take and just try to turn this by setting your hand within the foliage and turn it. And if it turns completely well like that, then you've got it woven. So now you can check your own when you work to see if it will turn. If it works, grand, time to move on. If not, take it apart and do it again. But this one worked, so we're going to need to go ahead. I'm going to stick in some of the asters. They're so bright and festive. Oh my gosh, these are just grand. Again, these are available year-round as well. You can just give them a cut, set them down in. Cut. These are very, very, very long-lasting. You'll be surprised at how well they hold up. You can see they come in pinks and lavenders and purple. Also a fuchsia. So many different colors. That. The buds will continue to open, setting them in. And you just again place everything in at an angle. Some real strong from one side, clear across to the other. From one side, clear to the other. And then some a little more upright so that you get them into the center of the design. 
Let me bring one of the taller ones coming up towards the center. Making sure, though, that the stems weave in. The more you weave, the better it will support all the rest of your blooms. So you're basically building a grid work within the vase. Then some kale. Oh, these are so gorgeous. Nice and big. Setting them closer to the center so that they give you a visual anchor, creating an accent in the design. One to the front and one to the back because it's an all the way right around arrangement. It's not flat and one-sided. A little bit of the matricaria. It's delicate, lacy. It's related to chamomile. If you think about chamomile tea with its calming influence, we can say this is a calming influence in my arrangement. Just tucking them in and again, radiating around. Now, let's add a soft pink, the Lysianthus, commonly called the Love Rose. It has such a beautiful petal face, kind of like an old-fashioned garden rose. Again, a super, super long-lasting flower. It looks delicate, it looks fragile, but it truly isn't. It holds fabulously. And again, bringing some to the back. How about the tulips? Gorgeous French tulips with their long stems, graceful heads, placing them in, finding a perfect little spot, knowing that they're going to grow. So I'm going to tuck them down a little bit lower so that as they grow, they still stay within the arrangement and don't take off and look like they don't fit anymore. Look at this gorgeous color. It's that grand, maybe bringing it off to this side. Finding the perfect hole. There we go. And a second one to place with it so it doesn't look lonely by itself. And then the iris and the lilies. Let's look at lilies first. They open beautifully, but you want to take a moment and remove the pollen nodules because this will stain the petals making it look not quite as beautiful. So if you just take a little bit of a time to reach in, pull those off, make sure that they're not going to stain the petals, then giving them a cut, letting that come up through the center. Oh, brightens the top of the design. And one a little shorter, coming out the back side. Did you think I forgot the iris? No, I just saved them for last. So I wanted them to be over the top, be a little special treat coming in, almost like the icing on the cake. So again, finding the perfect hole, sliding it down in. Letting it come to the top. Maybe another one out to the side. The lovely violet purple, so vivid. Bring it up and over, sliding it down in, making sure it goes fully into the water so that it will drink. So they are thirsty blossoms. And if you don't give them enough water, then they won't hold. But with a great water reservoir like in this vase, you can easily get five days of life out of each iris bloom. And I add them tucking them in, some down to the sides, some up to the top, and making sure that I radiate all the way around. The finished arrangement could stop there, but I always like to add just a little softness. Bear grass is the perfect addition. It's very delicate, very wispy, just taking a few strands Sliding them in through the side so that they drape over. Give a little bit of movement to the finished arrangement. And then bringing some to the opposite side. Moving it around, sliding it in. And then a little bit out the back side 
So we've got it in three spots so that it really finishes it all the way around, gives it a full radial format. And as the breeze goes by or somebody comes to look, it becomes wispy and blows and just adds a little bit of soft movement to the arrangement. Flower Love with flowers from Sun Valley. Now if you need more help with the Karen Handling, we just did briefly there, we have a full segment on Karen Handling of Iris in our video library at flowerschool.com. If you'd like more inspiration for designing with these fabulous flowers, we have videos, one on iris, one on tulips, one on lilies, and one on spring flowers. So many different DVDs to choose from. If you've got questions, you can reach us through the website at flowerschool.com or by telephone at 1-800-819-8089. Now it's your turn. As you create beautiful flowers, search out the Sun Valley Farms label. You can see they're long-lasting, they're guaranteed, they're fabulous. Then take a picture of what you create. I'd love to see it. You can use my personal email. It's Leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at floraldesigninstitute.com. Now it's your turn. Have fun and do something you love.